Things under Brilliant have taken a turn. The kings put a death mark on Count Renald's head. When the citizens heard that, they rebelled. The king imposed martial law to stop the rioting. But that got the aristocracy riled up. The whole planet's going to war. Sounds like the Count's plan to avoid bloodshed by marrying you just went up in flames. We were never going to unseat the king without a fight. I just hoped we'd pick the time and place. Needless to say, the Count has his hands full just staying alive. But even with all that's happened, he still wants to marry me. I can't keep putting him off. Any advice how I should play this? Forget about the politics for a second. Do you love this guy or not? I barely know him. This isn't about love. I need to figure out what's best for my long-term plans. Oh, perfect. Time's up. That's him calling on the Hollow. All right. Let's do this. Merit, I'm glad you're safe. From what I hear, the fighting got worse after you escaped. I cannot spare De Brilliant from war. But perhaps we can still create a better future together. I realize forging a true relationship takes time. And our marriage won't be consummated for some time. But I am hopeful. My proposal stands, Teresha. Will you marry me? This man could be dead tomorrow. Even if he lives, who knows what the politics of De Brillian will be like when the war ends. The best thing you can do is stay independent. It's always worked for me. Merit, I feel like we're rushing into things. We should take our time. For the good of De Brillian. You're absolutely right. Let us part as friends. Farewell, Risha. May the stars watch over you. That ended better than I expected. Except for that whole part with my world being at war. You're not having any regrets about turning down the Count, are you? I've never regretted anything about my life. No reason to start now. That's enough politics and relationship issues for one day. Let's go steal something expensive. I always feel better after a good caper.